everyone, it is me, Days with Dolls, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the American Girl Chestnut Horse from Costco. So we're going to get started with the body. So the horse is covered almost completely in this super soft and velvety fabric, which is really soft to the touch, which makes it really enjoyable to play with her or him and it's also a lot more realistic because I know some brands of dolls they just have like plastic horses and it's not as realistic so this is really nice. The nose, ears, and feet are not covered in fabric. So the horse is a completely chestnut color besides her feet and her like right here on her face, she just has a stripe of white. But besides that, she is completely brown. The horse has a super realistic forelock and mane that are made out of the same material that American Girl doll hair is made out of, and they can actually be brushed with the American Girl doll hair brush. The tail is also made out of the same material that doll hair is made out of and once again can be brushed with the hairbrush and also styled for special events or just a casual ride on an afternoon. Overall, I would give the horse itself a 10 out of 10. She's wonderful quality and I cannot wait to start filming videos with her. The set from Costco also comes with some additional items so that your doll can groom the horse, ride the horse, and feed her snacks. We will begin by looking at the blanket. It is a super soft blue material and it goes underneath the saddle when your doll is ready to ride. The saddle is a super realistic looking western style saddle that is made of almost completely plastic. The stirrups are actually made of metal which is really nice. I think it's great that American Girl did that. It has some little designs and cool patterns all over it just to make it a little bit more exciting. And the best part is, is that it's super easy to put on the horse. You pretty much just slide this through here and then you just pretty much clamp it in there like that. It's super easy and I think that's great especially for younger girls because I know as a young child I would always get super frustrated and upset when I couldn't put something on or take something off of my dolls by myself and I think this is just going to be so wonderful for young girls so that they don't have to go through a ginormous struggle. The saddle is really great quality and looks really realistic however me being the horseback rider that I am have one complaint. This right here is called the cinch and it goes underneath the horse's stomach to hold the saddle on the horse so that it doesn't fly off while you're riding her. Um, in real life, it's actually supposed to be located more towards the front of the saddle because it's supposed to go right behind the front legs of the horse. But this one on the American Girl saddle actually goes underneath the center of the horse's stomach so that's a little bit unrealistic as well as the stirrups are supposed to be a little bit farther back but not too far. So that's really my only complaint and it's not that big of a deal, it's just because <laughs> I ride horses and I'm kind of a perfectionist, it bugs me a little but other than that it's a really great saddle. As for the bridle, it is really great quality and looks really realistic. Once again it's super easy to put on, you just slide it through and then push the little circles onto the tiny knobs and it's that easy so once again not very frustrating to put on. Um, the reins are more of like a fabric material. I don't really know how to describe it but it's not made of plastic like the rest of the bridle. The bridle also has some really pretty designs on it. I like how they kind of make it a little bit more decorative, but they don't, they're not too much because a lot of the times decorations are just way too much and they just are so distracting and it's just too much. But these are really nice and simple. I only have two very minor complaints for the bridle. 
The first one is that this is actually not a part of a bridle in real life. This little strap here actually does not exist whatsoever. And then my other complaint um, is just that when you take the bridle off of the horse, it kind of leaves some marks in her fur, but those are actually really easy to get out with just the brush that this set comes with, but it's just sometimes they're a little bit harder to get out and it just leaves unrealistic markings in her fur and I don't really like that a lot, but those two little flaws are not too big of a deal and I can easily ignore them. The set comes with two snacks for the doll horse. The first one is this bundle of carrots, which is super cute and super realistic. It's made out of a kind of flimsy plastic which actually represents the hardness and texture of a real carrot very nicely and accurately. These fit perfectly into the doll's hands and I was actually able to wedge this into my doll's hand so that she could hold it without a rubber band or a piece of tape and like she was just holding it by herself which was really awesome however I haven't been able to do that again but it is possible and even when you can't do that it's really easy for the doll to hold these with her like with a piece of tape or a rubber band so that's really nice the second snack that this set comes with is the apple it is mostly red and it has some little orangish yellowish greenish um, parts to make it like really realistic looking. The bottom looks just like the shape of an apple and so does the top and it has a cute little stem. This is actually quite heavy and it is made out of plastic. It kind of fits into the doll's hands and she could probably hold it with a piece of tape or a rubber band. I'm not really sure but it is really cute and very adorable <laughs> and just realistic. The last item that the set comes with is the brush. It is blue and it has a flimsy handle that you can put around the doll's hand so that she can hold it. And I actually really like this handle a lot because most of the time American Girl, when American Girl puts handles on their items, they look really unrealistic and kind of stupid. <laughs> but this one actually looks super realistic and just normal when you put it around the hand, which is really nice. It has actual bristles that work really nicely for like brushing the, do the doll horse and it gets rid of a lot of the marks in her fur that I talked about with the bridle which is really cool actually so I really like this piece and I think it's a great addition to the set overall I think AG did a really great job with this set it's such great quality and everything is so realistic and so cute it's just, it's a really great set and totally worth the money that you pay for it. I would rate this total set um, a 9.5 out of 10 because, like I said, it's such great quality and everything is very realistic and cute. And I think it's definitely worth the money that you pay for it. And I just think it's something that every horse-loving girl and every horse-loving doll really needs to have in their collection because it just inspires so much fun play and video making and it's just a lot of fun and it's a really great set. However, the half point deduction, because it's a 9.5 out of 10, um, that comes from the few like flaws and disadvantages that I was able to find but they're not too big of a deal, so that's why it's only a half point deduction. Overall, I just think this set is really great, but I did need to take out a little bit just for those few factors that weren't super realistic or just not very great. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful if you were trying to decide whether or not to get the horse. I hope it helped you make your decision. Um, I guess I will just see you guys in my next video, and once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye!